Hello everyone, Quilter Marine here. So we need to get our total distance. I don't want to leave you hanging, all right? Because I remember this is one of the things that challenged me when I was doing binding for my quilts, okay? So I'm gonna measure the total distance around this baby quilt that I have going on here, all right? So I'm gonna just measure across. All you gotta do is measure across, all right? So we got 35 inches, all right? So we know we're gonna, we're gonna need 70 inches, all right? Because remember, we're doing two sides. We're not just doing one side, so that's 70. All right, so let's get our long side. Lay out flat. Make sure you're laid out flat. All right, that's a hard lesson to learn. Okay, make sure you're laid out flat. You get, you're going to be going off the off the reservation of your um, self healing mat. It's okay. You're just measuring distances. All right. And we have fifty inches. All right. So remember, two two sides. Fifty. That's a hundred. And 70 inches that we have so far. And we're gonna add a foot to that because we got corners to do, all right? And we need to be safe, all right? Better to have extra, all right, than not enough. So in order for us to get our two and a half inch strips, all right, regardless of how big your, your quilt is gonna be, you need to get the most out of your cuts, okay? So we wanna take advantage, you know, we can't be throwing, we're quilting on a budget. We can't be throwing away fabric, all right? I get sensitive about cutting the wrong way, or, you know, we got getting the most out of my cuts. So I'm gonna show you a technique in which I use uh, to get the most out of my cuts. So when you order, your, when you get your fabric, all right, you see how this is, all right? You see how it's folded in half right now. So obviously, if this is folded in half, all right, this is where the fold is right here along this line. This, you know, cutting along this length would be better, right? Because we would get the most out of that. If I cut along this length, I'm gonna be connecting fabrics. I'm gonna be connecting all day, all right? We wanna take advantage of what we have, all right? So what I do is I fold my fabric in a, in a way where I'm gonna get the most out of it. So I already know this is the fold point, right? And, and I know I'm gonna get the most out of this. I gotta get 180 inches. So at some point, I'm gonna be connecting, okay? So I'm gonna fold that in half. And the reason why I fold it in half is you see the space I'm working with, all right? I don't have a studio. So I fold it in half to get all of my fabric onto my cutting mat, okay? So I take the extra time, make sure I'm really aligned. All right, this was pre-cut before, so that's um, it's a little easier, okay? All right, so I make sure I got my line, all right? So that's it, you know? So I, I know when I cut along this line, I get my two and a half inch cut on this line, I'm gonna have a nice long strip, all right? And then I'll show you how to connect the strips so that, you know, you get the most out of your cuts, all right? But you wanna get the most out of your cuts. Don't, don't waste cuts, all right? Connecting, I mean, connecting um, fabrics end to end, it's, it's not bad, I mean, these aren't for shows. These are for my family. So, you know, that's not a bad thing. But, you know, you want to get the most out of your cuts. You want to show more fabric and less cuts and connecting parts in the, in the, in the strips that you, you collect, okay? So, here we are. Two and a half inches, all right? One, two and a half. Let's move this up so I can see both ends. All right, so one, two and a half. On this cutting mat, the half inch is those dots right there. Between 12 and 13. I'm gonna make sure I'm on the half mark down here on this end. Between 12 and 13, 12 and 13, two and a half inches. I'm not gonna bust out the laser right now, but you see, we've had this, we've, we've, we've been this on this path before, okay? Get my cut. All right, so I'm going to have to make multiple cuts to get 180 inches for my quilt, all right? But the way I folded it, now you understand what I'm talking about. I get the most out of my cut that way, okay? You have to make sure you're, you're, you're uh, nice and lined up, your edges are true. But this is the best way to get the most out of your cut, okay? If I, if I went crossways, then it'd be like, you know, it'd be this. 
We don't want this. We want this. The, the magic trick, okay? Um, so now, unless you have nine miles of a fabric that you can cut lengthwise and get your total distance in, it may not happen, all right? You may, be, you may pick a fabric that you really like, but you don't have quite enough for it. You have to cut in strips and connect the strips. This is another portion that I got lost on as a new quilter. And for you new quilters that we're trying to take care of, I'm going to show you a technique that I learned from Crafty Gemini site. And so, all right, so we've already cut, we're going to say that we've already cut our two and a half, two and a half inch strips, okay? And you're coming up short, all right? One of your lengths, all right, maybe your long and length, maybe your long end of your quilt or your short end, all right? You don't have enough, so you have to extend it. But you have plenty of two inch, two and a half inch cut. So the best way would be to join to join the two pieces, all right? And the only way you're going to do that, well, there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can sew it in a straight line, all right? You can sew in straight lines. That's cool, all right? If you're not putting it in a contest, which I don't do, all right? I make mine for loved ones. But there's all, another technique, okay? And this is the technique, all right? You go across, all right? And then the other piece... Right sides facing, just like that. You see how that is? All right, you see that? And you are gonna stitch. All right, here we go, baby. The Black & Decker laser coming in effect. This is your stitch line. See that? That's the line you stitch across, all right? A 45, a perfect 45, all right? Now look, the thing you have to pay attention to is this, the corners, all right? Pay attention to the corners. You have to go from this corner to this corner, okay? If you come off, if you stitch from outside the corner, come to the inside, when you lay it over, it won't be even, all right? You have to go from corner to corner in this angle, all right? Now, when I first started doing this, I was I was sewing in this direction, all right? I was, it was crazy, it was crazy. But when you go to the machine, this is the look and the line you have to go to, all right? So if you're stitching on the machine, you know, your, 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 uh, your needle would start from here, all right? You remember, your, your machine cuts in this direction, right? Or sews in this direction. So this is the look you have to have when sewing it. That's the line you sew on, all right? Because then when you open this up, it'll, be, it'll look like that, all right? But without the dog ears. Without the dog ears, okay? You'll cut that off. But that's the line you want to go on. And I learned that on Crafty Gemini's site, okay? She didn't use a laser like I do, but she taught it so good, all right? All right, here we go. We're going we're gonna to give this a sew. Okay, so remember, right side's facing, right? Just like this, okay? All right, so remember how when we had the laser, all right, the angle. All right, that's the angle you want. So I'm just going to pivot. I'm just going to pivot in that angle, 45 degrees, okay? Now, the trick to this is when you set your pressure foot down, don't just go with it, all right? You got to see where you're going. You got to kind of like understand the line is coming here. There will be times where you you're, might be off to the left, off to the right, and then you're adjusting, and there will be a curve, all right? You want a nice straight stitch line, nice and straight. All right, so I've only been doing this a little while, so forgive me if I get quiet. <laughs> I'm going to be concentrating here, okay? Okay, here we go. All right, don't mind that. That was just back thread feeding over the top, okay? So we're going to stay straight here. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna pull that out. Let's lay this down here. All right, remember that angle, right? Laser line. We're gonna open it up, and that's how you extend your pieces to get longer and longer and longer. Okay. Now remember, once you get done, we're gonna to want to cut this. So what I do is I get my scissors that I don't allow to be taken out of here ever. These are my fabric scissors or my rotary cutter. It doesn't matter. So we'll use our rotary cutter. I'm gonna to try to get like maybe a quarter of an inch distance from the stitch line, all right? Give it a cut. 
Now you see those little dog ears? I'm gonna nip those off. Nip off the dog ears here. And then we're gonna open that up. And that's how you extend out your strips if you're coming up short. Okay? And then when you're when you're ready to, you know, when you when you when you want to make your bind, all right, when it comes to folding it in half, all right, we'll just fold it in half, and when we iron, it won't matter. You won't you barely notice it, okay? When you, when it's ironed. You can see it in there because you're looking for it, but once you get it ironed and and put on your quilt, it turns out pretty good. Okay, so next thing, we're going to be attaching a bind to our quilt. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and remember, it's only fabric, and it's only thread.